Welcome back to another Bench Press Mistakes video, and today we're going to talk about letting the bar roll back in your hand. Having the bar roll back in your hand when you're performing a bench press um, is a bit more common. I see it more frequently in more novice lifters, so no more new lifters. Um, it, it can do two things. It can cause wrist and even elbow pain, which pain is just never really a good thing. Um, and the, the second thing is it's an energy leak, so you're not lifting as efficiently as possible. You're not transferring the power as efficiently back into the bar to press the bar back over your shoulders. Now there's no necessarily right or wrong way to do this. You can kind of play with your grip a little bit, but ultimately you want your wrist fairly stacked when you're performing your bench press. Um, I show you kind of how I grip it through the meat of my hand. You can even turn your hands a little bit um, to see what's most comfortable for you. Um, but ultimately there's not one 100% way to do things. Um, what I do try and get lifters to avoid is holding the bar so far back in your hand that it's up on your fingers and I try and avoid um, what's called the suicide grip or a false grip where your thumb is not wrapped around the bar. Um, you can actually dump that bar and lose it on your chest. So we are gonna try to avoid that as well. Uh, my top tip with this one, again, is unload the bar a little bit. Um, I do say that really frequently where people um, to ultimately make long-term progress sometimes have to take steps backwards watch themselves in video and find ways to optimize your form um, that will lead to better longevity, less injuries, um, and just more overall efficiency in the big three lifts, um, or really in any lift. Um, and that again will have you training muscles and you won't feel so much joints um, is the idea. And that, that can build power. So that's ultimately the long-term goal is to be, to be safe, to build strength, um, be powerful. So video record yourself from the side or have somebody video record your wrists. If you do have wrist or elbow pain, that could be part of the cause of it. Um, so do look at that a little bit closer and uh, that's today's mistake and how to fix it. Thanks for watching, smash the like button, subscribe, you know what to do, smash it. Smash it, Google, smash it.